extinct human species, how different were they from us? Well done, Homo sapiens. Yes, that's us, the modern human. We avoided extinction and thrived. But this was not the case for any other archaic human species. And if you think that we simply evolved in a direct line, you couldn't be more wrong. In fact, other species of humans cohabited on our planet at the same time. And yes, we even bred with some of them. Though in the end, we were the only ones who survived. Australopithecus afarensis The Australopithecus species is one of the best-known ancestors of the modern human. The Australopithecus afarensis, in particular, is well known for a skeleton discovered in 1974, which was nicknamed Lucy, depicted. Australopithecus afarensis the Australopithecus afarensis lived between 3 to 3.7 million years ago in East Africa. They had a small frame and a small brain. Their height ranged from between 3.2 feet 96 centimeters to 5.5 feet 165 centimeters, and they weighed between 55 to 141 pounds, 25 to 64 kilograms. Fossils have been found in Kenya, Ethiopia, and Tanzania. Australopithecus afarensis ate mostly a vegetarian diet. Homo habilis The Homo habilis is the first early human species with the genus Homo. They descended from the Australopithecus. The Homo habilis lived approximately 1.4 to 2.3 million years ago in South and East Africa. Their appearance was smoother and rounder when compared to Australopithecus, but they were still smaller than modern humans, weighing an average of 75 pounds, 34 kilograms. Unlike their ancestors, the Homo habilis also ate meat. They are known for having developed a range of tools, hence their name, which means handyman. Homo rudolfensis there are not many fossils of this archaic human species. Only one cranium was discovered in the Turkana Basin in Kenya, and then a mandible in Malawi. The skull indicates that their brains were larger than those of Homo habilis. Scientists still debate whether the Homo rudolfensis had indeed the Homo genus or if it was just an Australopithecus, with a larger brain. They lived approximately 1.7 million years ago, which means that they would have coexisted with Homo habilis and Homo erectus. Homo erectus. Unlike the previous example, there are numerous fossils of Homo erectus, dating back from between 110,000 to 1.89 million years ago. The Homo erectus was the longest existing species of human ever to have walked on Earth. They had larger bodies and smaller teeth than Homo habilis and were more similar to modern humans, though they had shorter arms and longer legs than us. They had a similar size to us, at about 4.9 feet 150 centimeters to just over 6 feet 180 centimeters and weighed an average of 150 pounds 68 kilograms. The Homo erectus was the first human species to travel outside of Africa. Homo ergaster The Homo ergaster lived in eastern and southern Africa between 1.4 and 1.9 million years ago. Like with Homo rudolfensis, scientists still debate whether the Homo ergaster is indeed a species on its own or a subspecies of Homo erectus. The Homo ergaster cohabited our planet at the same time as the Homo erectus. They were, however, generally more slender than Homo erectus, though they too had a similar diet and lifestyle and also used tools. Homo floriensis Scientists discovered the Homo floriensis in 2003 in the Liang Bua cave on the island of Flores in Indonesia. It is estimated that this early human species lived 50,000 to 100,000 years ago. 
They were tiny compared to modern humans, but were fierce hunters. Weapons used to hunt Stegodon, a type of extinct elephant, were found. Scientists believe the species descended from Homo erectus and adapted to island life by developing into dwarfs. Homo heidelbergensis The Homo heidelbergensis lived between 200,000 to 600,000 years ago in various regions. Fossils indicate they roamed eastern and southern Africa, as well as Europe and possibly China. They were the first human species to be adapted to the cold. This means that they were pretty good at mastering fire, finding and building shelter, as well as developing tools and weapons, such as spears. Homo antecessor The first fossils of the Homo antecessor were discovered between 1994 and 1996 in Ataperca, Spain. Scientists dated them back to 800,000 to 1.2 million years ago. Though unlike other ancestors, the Homo antecessor had similar features to those of modern humans, including their faces and hunting lifestyle. Homo nality In 2015, over 1,550 fossils were found in the Rising Star Cave system in South Africa. The species found was dubbed Homo nality. It's estimated that this species lived from approximately 236,000 to 335,000 years ago. They shared features with both Australopithecus and humans. They had small heads, but their brains were built like ours. Homo neanderthalensis Possibly the most famous archaic human species, the Neanderthals lived from about 24,000 to 200,000 years ago. These quintessential cavemen are likely the closest extinct relative to our species. Neanderthals were smaller than modern humans, but had a very robust build. They lived in Eurasia during the Ice Ages, so they adapted to the cold weather. Neanderthals developed advanced weapons and tools, made clothes, and built shelter. They also had larger brains and were more intelligent than other species. Neanderthals also displayed signs of culture and spiritual beliefs, including ritualistic burials, art, and even musical instruments. Neanderthals might have gone extinct, but they interbred with modern non-African humans, so their genomes are still present among us. Denisovans Remains of this species of human were found in a cave in Siberia in 2010. It's estimated that they lived about 400,000 years ago. It is believed that the Denisovans branched off the Neanderthals and headed to Asia instead of Europe. They too interbred with modern humans and might have been the last archaic human species to become extinct. Homo longi in 1933, a skull was found in Harbin, northeastern China. It was larger than modern humans, but it featured almost square eye sockets and thick brow ridges. It was nicknamed a dragon man. It was not until 2021 that scientists considered it a unique human species. The fossil dates back to around 146,000 years ago. The Homo longi as a species, however, is still up for debate, as some scientists claim that it is a Denisovan.